the following, we would like to introduce you to our two new heated breathing circuit systems for neonatal patients and to present their features. In addition, the assembly instructions for the products, with all the accessories you will need, will be demonstrated step by step. The Venstar Helix Dual Heated Neonatal Plus is an inspiratory and expiratory heated breathing circuit system that minimizes the development of condensation in the system. The second circuit variant is the Ventstar Helix Heated Neonatal Plus with integrated water trap in the expiration of the system. This product is designed especially for users who are accustomed to working with circuit systems that have integrated water traps, making it possible to maintain established practices, processes and workflows. Both heated breathing circuit systems are designed for conveying moisturized breathing gas from the humidifier to the patient. The application range includes neonatal patients with a tidal volume of up to 100 milliliters. The pre-assembled products are color-coded for the user's ease of setting up and handling. Inspiration is colored blue and expiration is colored white, which makes it considerably easier to attach them correctly. The newly integrated double helix heating wire ensures consistent heat distribution, optimal conditioned air for the patient and prevention of condensation. The humidifier chamber for premature infants has an automatic feed mechanism as an integral part of both sets and ensures a constant water level by means of an auto feed mechanism. The attuned system compatibility with our Draeger ventilators, such as the BabyLog family and devices with Neo option, ensures optimal ventilation performance. Their low compliance enables both systems to support powerful and consistent high frequency ventilation especially with the BabyLog VN500 breathing device. This also means that only one breathing circuit is required for all modes of ventilation and that no additional replacement of the system is needed when changing the mode. The comfortable length of both breathing circuits and the high degree of material flexibility supports easy handling for the user. First, we will show you the setup of the Ventstar Helix Dual Heated Neonatal Plus with a BabyLog VN500. Take the water chamber and unwind the water supply hose. Slide the water chamber into the MR850 until the interlocks snap into place. Connect the water supply to a sterile water source. Be sure that the water flows into the deaeration chamber and that the sealing cap is open. The water chamber is filled automatically by means of the auto feed mechanism and a float gauge ensures that the water level remains constant. The first time the water chamber is filled, be sure not to go beyond the maximum water level mark. First, take the short blue inspiration hose, which serves to connect the breathing device to the water chamber. Connect the hose to the inspiration nozzle of the breathing device. Remove the sealing cap of the humidifier chamber and connect the other end of the hose. Now take the pre-assembled hose system and connect the connector at the end of the blue inspiration hose to the second opening of the humidifier chamber. Then connect the sleeve of the white expiration hose to the expiratory nozzle of the breathing device. The breathing circuit system is now fully connected. In addition, there are further accessories to be connected to the humidifier and the entire system. For the next steps in the setup of connecting to the humidifier, you will need the sensor cable and the special heating cable designed for dual heated systems. First, take the heating cable and connect the yellow plug to the yellow edged port on the humidifier. The plugs on the heating cable for connection to the hose are mechanically coded, i.e. they have a distinct shape that fits into the connection port. Now connect the shorter heating cable to the connector on the inspiratory limb of the breathing circuit and the longer heating cable to the connector on the expiratory limb of the breathing circuit. Connect the sensor cable by connecting the blue-black plug to the blue-edged connector provided for this purpose on the humidifier. After removing the sealing cap, plug the sensor close to the humidifier into the opening of the inspiratory hose connection on the humidifier chamber. When connecting the sensor, you will hear a distinct sound indicating that it has snapped in. This ensures that the sensor is in the best possible position. 
After that, connect the sensor on the side of the patient. Connect it to the connector provided for this purpose on the inspiratory hose. To do this, you must remove the blue cap and insert the sensor into the opening as far as it will go. Unless the sensors are properly fastened, temperature regulation of the device will not be possible. After the circuit system and accessories have been assembled, you can add all the necessary components you would normally use, such as the flow sensor. The entire breathing system has now been installed and is ready for use on a patient. This breathing system is basically set up in exactly the same way as the previous product. Since only the inspiratory limb is heated here, the unheated expiration limb contains a water trap. This will be explained in more detail later. After setting up the system, you will notice that the only difference lies in the connection of the heating cable. Here there is only one connection to the inspiratory heating connector. You should now connect the sensor cable as previously demonstrated for the dual heated system and add further components to the system as required. Regular inspection and emptying of the water trap is essential to prevent condensation from entering the hose system. When emptying the water trap, turn it clockwise until it can be removed from the connection. Dispose of the condensation in compliance with hospital regulations. After emptying, press the collection container horizontally and firmly into the locking ring and turn it anti-clockwise until the container snaps into place and a marked resistance can be felt. When removing the collection container, the breathing circuit is automatically sealed off. This minimizes the likelihood of a leak or drop in pressure occurring. When positioning the system, always ensure that the water trap is upright and located at the lowest point. This helps in collecting condensation at this point. Up until now, both breathing circuit systems were connected to the Babylog VN500. When using the Ventstar dual and single heated N plus breathing circuits together with a ventilator of the Evita family with Neo mode option, an additional connector is required, which is available separately. Connect this adapter to the inspiratory side of the hose and connect it to the inspiratory nozzle of the breathing device. There are several variants for the proper support of a premature infant. Depending on therapy and illness, the baby may lie in a closed or open nursing bed. In regards to the host system, please note the following. The Ventstar heated Neonatal Plus breathing circuits have a common hose extension to be found in the inspiratory limb between the sensor connector and the Y piece, which is not heated. When using an incubator with a minimum temperature of 33 degrees Celsius, it is advisable to use an extension to protect the temperature sensor from thermal interference. When positioning the sensor, make sure that it's placed outside the incubator. Otherwise, an incorrect measurement due to thermal interference may lead to a reduction in humidification. If the premature infant is lying in an open care unit or in an incubator with a temperature lower than 33 degrees Celsius, the incubator extension should be removed. This reduces additional condensation. To remove the extension from the system, disconnect the hose from the Y piece and the temperature sensor. Now connect the sensor directly to the Y piece. It is possible to connect the Draeger medication nebulizer for premature infants by using an additional soft connector, which is available separately. Proceed as follows. Fasten the soft connector to the medication nebulizer. Then remove the inspiratory hose from the Y piece and connect it to the opposite side of the nebulizer. Finally, connect the Y piece of the system using the soft connector. Use the nebulizer according to the instructions for use. When dismantling the system after use, it is advisable to start by removing the sensor and heating cables. The temperature sensors are easier to remove by rotating them. They can then be reprocessed according to the manufacturer's instructions. Venstar Helix Heated Neonatal 
the solution for optimized ventilation to support the individual development of premature and newborn infants. 